In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And good evening, everyone. Our intention of the Mass this evening is offered for the repose of the soul of Patricia Green. And we gather together as God's family once again calling upon our God to come to help us so that we may continue to grow into the people we are meant to be. And God, of course, extends to us his forgiveness and his grace to, to help that to happen. And so we open our hearts to God's incredible forgiveness and love. Lord Jesus, you come to us bringing us peace and pardon. Lord, have mercy. And Christ Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life we are called to follow. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are forever the uh, light of the world. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation as I wrote above in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humanity, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things so that through the church the wisdom of God and its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he was carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You shall draw joyfully from the springs of salvation. Surely God is my salvation, I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might, he has become my salvation. He will draw the water joyfully from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. He shall draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You shall draw water joyfully from the saints of the salvation.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, Know this. If the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for everyone? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and prudent manager whom his master will put in charge of his slaves to give them their allowance of food at the proper time? Blessed is that slave whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly I tell you, he will put that one in charge of all of his possessions. But if that slave says to himself, my master is delayed in coming, and if he begins to beat the other slaves, men and women, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour that he does not know and will cut him in pieces and put him with the unlawful. That slave who knew what his master wanted but did not prepare himself or do what was wanted will receive a severe beating. But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. For everyone to whom much has been given, much will be required. And from the one to whom much has been entrusted, even more will be demanded. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. There you have the story of the church. The slave who is faithful and does as he is commanded by God, and the slave who is unfaithful and beats the slaves. Uh, the church is made up of saints and the sinners. Uh, and unfortunately, that's the way it is. Though we do not like the idea that in fact, there are sinners in the church. And we're constantly, especially now with media, being reminded of our sins and those shepherds who have went astray. But then on the same time, we have the story of St. Paul, who goes out and brings the message of, of God and his incredible love for the world to a people who have never heard it. And it makes me think about our own church in Canada. We, we've heard the story of priests who have abused. We've heard the stories of the residential schools. Sometimes we forget the stories of the saints. Recently, we've celebrated the Feast of the Canadian Martyrs, the Jesuit Fathers, who just not too far away uh, gave their lives to let people learn about how much God loves them, basically. They left everything behind and even gave their lives. Incredible human beings. Uh, but our, our story of the church in Canada is full of incredible story of courageous witnesses. I think of many of the women who came to Quebec and started schools and, and reached out, in fact, to indigenous people uh, to, to educate them. Marguerite Duville, Marguerite Bourgeois, uh, Marie de l'Incarnation, incredible women. It's part of our story. The story is not just about our failures. It's about the people that were open to God and did God's will. And that's the story of the gospel. And so, yes, we have our, our moments of shame, but we also, as Canadians, have a church we can be proud of.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Father, make your rich water and wine that we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Don't be insult to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice in each of our lives will be pleasing to God the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through this purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we celebrate through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you have sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, gave it to his, and broke it and gave you thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, the clergy, and your entire family. Remember Patricia and all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now together let us pray the, our family prayer, the words taught to us by our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles and say to each of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share that peace with one another around us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, the one who has brought God's forgiveness and love into this world. Happy are those called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life.
Thank you, dear. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our celebration of the Eucharist has been offered. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Have a beautiful evening, everyone.